Hey guys, Pedagonia, and today I'm going to show you how to download a custom map. As I've been streaming recently, custom maps like the Isles of Voices, a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do I play this map? How do I how do I get this map? How do I download it? Whatever, right? So I'm going to show you really quick. It's such a simple thing, but I get it asked so often. I'm going to make a little tutorial for you guys. So in every single custom map video, you just scroll down to the description and you'll see a map download or a thread or something like that. So you can go on to that thread and you can just easily find a download button so you'd click that and it will start downloading almost immediately sometimes you have to wait a little bit let's press it again oh there you go Isles of Voices world very simple download um, mods are usually harder but we'll get into that in another video so once you've downloaded this you just need to close that now um, and you can see in your downloads folder your downloads folder should be very easy to find um, I've got Isles of Voices so now I need to find my Terraria folder to put this in. So what we do is we go in My Documents. Now we go find My Games. So press M and it will come down here. I found My Games. Now we go into there. Now we want to find Terraria. Just press T. And here we go, Terraria. Um, if you ever want to back up your Terraria folders, because um, you've got like maps and, and, and players you want to keep, um, you can just copy the whole thing. I've done this before. I've got a whole backup here of everything in there. Um, but if you just go in there, you will, you will just see players, worlds, and probably captures. The reason I have these three here is because they're mods related. So you don't have to worry about that. Yours will look a lot simpler. Um, just go into worlds. This is what you'll be doing. And all you have to do is copy Isles of Voices and paste it in here just by pasting it like that. So copy paste super simple super simple and it will end up just like this you may be wondering why you don't have a, a back when you get into the game it will create a back so don't worry about that and yeah once you've done that all you have to do is open up Terraria and play the game um, yeah and it should be there everything sorted out perfectly fine um, as you can see here, I've made lots of backups as well. I, I like to make lots and lots of backups. I have more. I've been playing Terraria for like five years. I have more than this many worlds. I promise you. Um, so backups, 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 backups. Because if anything ever goes wrong, you've always got a backup. So yeah, I always get messages about that as well. Like Pedgwin, I accidentally deleted my whole entire world. Like, come on. You should know, guys. Backups, backups, backups. Um, and if you go in your captures folder, actually, um, if you press F1 and all that good stuff, you can actually take photos in game and see them really easily so I took a took a photo of my whole entire jungle here I have no idea why I think I was hunting for for yeah there we go I was fun hunting for orbs or Plantera's bulbs even and this was a pretty way good way of finding them back in the day um, but yeah anyway that was that, that's just a little you know a little tutorial to show you how to um add my my worlds to uh, Terraria um, and yeah little tutorial for you guys just because a couple of you have been asking. I'm going to be working on some other tutorials throughout the day. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.